Hey, this is Gene Gallon with the Chatham Chalice and the Chatham Journal, and I'm here with Greg Lewis at the Roadhouse. What is the proper Pits name? Pittsburgh Roadhouse and General Store. Pittsburgh Roadhouse and General Store. And they just opened yesterday, Friday, sir, had an evening service, and how'd it go? It's fantastic. The, the town turned out in mass. We had probably 400 people here that we served. Um, we had our hiccups, we had our challenges. We were opening a new restaurant, feeding that many people on our first night. Uh, but it went very well, and the people loved it. The people were very, very understanding, and uh, uh, we think we did halfway decent. What, what were some of the favorites last night? Uh, our tempura fried bacon. We have a uh, jalapeno and pecan fried bacon served with a maple syrup aioli and our Roadhouse Burger. There are two big favorites. And what exactly is the Roadhouse Burger? A Roadhouse Burger is a Texas Toast grilled cheese sandwich with tomato topped with an eight ounce Angus burger topped with lettuce and onion topped with another Texas Toast grilled cheese sandwich with bacon in it. So in other words, if I eat that, I'm not going to be hungry. No, you will not be hungry again. We, and that's served with our homemade potato chips. How do you decide on what you're going to be serving at your restaurant here? Uh, basically, it's a, just a, a whole bunch of things that my family and I like to eat. And, you know, we just put together a menu of our favorite items. And you do own another business over in Cary. Isn't I do. I own Catering by Design. We've been in business in the same location there for 12 and a half years. Okay, so you are doing catering by design and carry, what, decide, what, what made you decide, hey, I want an actual storefront? Uh, probably five, six years ago, I decided I never wanted to be in the restaurant business again. We had a restaurant at Cary, and we just, we were done in the restaurant business. And when um, the, my wife and I used to come to the general store, weekly, bi-weekly, and we loved sitting in the back listening to the live music and having dinner and just relaxing. And when the general store closed, we really felt that something was missing from the community. We thought it was sad for the community and we thought that uh, the general store needed to come back to life. And so um, it's because of this building and this business that I got back in the restaurant business. Had it not been for this business in this location, I would not be back in the restaurant business. So in other words, this is more than just serving up food. This is this is serving the community of Pittsburgh and Chatham County. And this is all about the community in Chatham County. Absolutely. This is not about my wife and I. This is not about our family. It's not about me. It's about the community. It's now you are a Chatham County resident. Correct. My wife and I live in Silk Hope with our three daughters. We have one daughter that goes to Jordan Matthews and two that go to Silk Hope Elementary. Now you've got a uh, fundraiser coming up in a week or so? Tomorrow night. To oh, tomorrow Sun night. Sunday night we're doing a uh, fundraiser for uh, Guardian Angels with Terry Dorsey. Uh, it's a, all funds are going to raise money for a no-kill animal shelter here in Chatham County. All right, that's good. Now I've also noticed you've kept the stage that was here and what are, what are your plans for music, live music? We're going to continue to do live music on Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays. As I said, my wife and I really enjoyed coming down for that. Uh, but we're improving the acoustics. We've added 16 acoustic panels. We do have a uh, acoustic curtain coming in that we're putting up behind the stage. We've got new microphones, new mic stands, got new amps. Uh, we've worked on the stereo system, so we now have XM radio in here. And we've separated out all of the stereo, so now we can have one type of music or a program going on in the back of the restaurant in the uh, uh, performance in the hall and then have something else playing in the front of the restaurant. And are you having different acts on Friday and Saturday? Yes, every Thursday and Friday and Saturday will be different. Tommy Edwards has been booking all of the music for us to help us get started. And you're open from uh, lunches at 11, is that right? Yes, we're open Monday through Thursday, 11 to 9, Friday and Saturday from 11 to 11. Now, and just last night, we our bar area, the dance floor area, was packed till 10.30 last night. So you must be tired. I left here at 3 a.m. this morning and got back here at 7. Now, as somebody who worked in the restaurant business, it must be a good tired, though. Uh, it feels good. It's. Uh, it feels good to finally get it open. My wife and I have been working on this for six months since they closed. It's something that's uh, been in our mind, something we've wanted to do. So for six months we've been working on this and to finally get it open and to see everyone in here. And last night we just had to stop and stand in the back here and just watch everybody eating and dancing and just having a great time and laughing. And it just made us feel very good to see that. And I know you mentioned you had some hiccups, but overall, you feel like it went well for you last night? Uh, considering it was our first night and everything that went on in here, I feel like it went exceptionally well. I think our staff 
we did seven days of training with our staff, and I think our staff did an exceptional job. You know, I mean, they they got hit very hard last night. You know, the first time on the floor, and they've been 400 people. They did a great job. Okay, uh, people can walk in. It's not reservations required. Is that correct? Correct. No reservations. Okay, and if people want more information, what phone number do they call? Good question. Okay. <laughs> But they can't. They I don't can't remember yet. But we do have a website up, uh, Pittsburgh Roadhouse Cafe or Pittsburgh Roadhouse the General Store. But we also have a Facebook site, which is getting a lot of activity, and that's just Pittsburgh Roadhouse and General. And Store. they can go on there and they can like you. Uh, one last question: Dinner menu, lunch menu. What's what's the difference, and what are you going to be serving up this this afternoon? The lunch menu is full of burgers and sandwiches and paninis, salads. There's a few entrees there. We have lunch items starting at six, seven dollars, going up to twelve or fourteen, and then the dinner menu starts at uh, gosh nine or ten dollars and goes up to eighteen. But for eighteen dollars, you get a certified Angus ribeye steak. And our dinner menu starts at five o'clock. So basically, you are going to be serving up some of the best food that you can get in Pittsburgh and surrounding counties. I certainly believe so. Yes, sir. All right, folks, look, Greg Lewis is doing a fantastic job. He's tired. He's been, a, well, he went to sleep sometime after 3 o'clock, but he was nice enough to talk to us. Stop on by, visit, give Greg and his wife. What's your wife's name? Maria. Maria. Give Greg and, and Maria a, a holler. Come out on the dance floor and dance your buns off and make Greg a happy man, all right? Come have fun. Come, come support the community and have fun while you're down here. There you go. And, Greg, we appreciate having you in the community. Thank you.